What's going on YouTube? This is Jackie Wire and I'm here with another PlayStation Factory tutorial. You gotta excuse the sound and like I'm laughing because I am laughing because you do not believe how much I just learned so I can try to explain this video to you. So this tutorial is going to be how to do a freeze frame for the share factory. Yes, a free frame. Freeze frame. I said free frame. Freeze frame. But there's a catch to it. There is, just like with almost anything else you do in the share factory, like with fixing the audio issue for if the game play doesn't match up with the audio, it takes a bit of work. This one definitely takes a bit of work. And I've trial and error, I've come to be able to explain this to you and also tell you what not to do so you do not go through the struggle. There's so much you can do with the share factory, you just really have to think outside the box. First off, you need a screenshot because that's obviously what a freeze frame yeah. Keep saying it wrong. What a freeze frame is. Now there's so many issues with that. And I'm let's let's break that down right now. First thing, first issue. You cannot, and I can't do it here because I just found this out just a moment ago. You cannot hit L2 to full screen. And then the bar will, this bar that's here, the white time bar, it will disappear. But you cannot screenshot it, you cannot record it. Your next option will be to screenshot this. But that doesn't work either. Because there is a timestamp there. The timestamp, unless you're okay with the video being, like the screenshot being a little smaller than what it's supposed to be, which kind of messes up the realism, then go for it. Otherwise, there is a workaround there, but that takes a lot of work too. What you're going to do is hit squares to go to tools. You're going to go to pan and zoom, and you're literally just going to screenshot this right here. Only problem is, like I said, then you have to actually make it fit perfectly so you don't cut off part of whatever is on your screen. So good luck messing around with that. That's going to take a little bit of time. So the only other options you have is to actually go out and actually go go to the capture gallery. So would you go out, go to the capture gallery, go to the video that you're trying to get a screenshot of, and pause it wherever you're trying to get, get the screenshot at, and capture it that way. There's a problem with that as well. If you pause the video, the pause button shows in the video, in the screenshot. So... <laughs> Unless you're okay with the pause button interfering with the thing, go for it. Otherwise, that kind of takes away the realism of the freeze frame. So the, the only way you can get that at this point is to literally just try to screenshot it and hope that you get the screenshot that you want. And trust me, unfortunately, that was the first way I did my first freeze frame. I'm probably going to put that video at the end of this thing so y'all can look at that. But that was the first way I got the first freeze frame video that I got. And man, that took some time. And then I finally came to the last conclusion. And it's going to be playing some muscle memory. You're going to look for... You're going to take a look at this. This is the screenshot I want. Because it's kind of easy to distinguish what I'm looking for. You see that little light there? That's what I'm kind of looking for when I see in the screen. What you're going to do once again is go to the capture gallery and remember whatever this is, like whatever you're trying to say. You're going to go to the capture gallery, you're going to go to the video, you're going to open the options on that video, and you're going to go to trim. When you're at trim, you're just going to go straight to preview once your video loads up, whatever. And you can reverse, fast forward, reverse there and pause it at the moment that you actually want to capture. But once you finally went through all that junk and you finally got to the screenshot, oh yeah, reminder, there's another way. So like I said, L2 doesn't work with the thing we're recording and none of that. I originally was gonna tell you that you can record the thing and screenshot that, but as I said, L2 don't work, so don't bother with that. Once you get your screenshot, and you're just going to sp I'm, you're just going to split the video of wherever you're trying to split it at. I mean, wherever you're trying to get the screenshot at, you're just going to put a split there. And I advise beforehand to figure out what you actually want to screenshot. Like I explained before, I was going off of this little fragment, that bullet that's above the character to the top right-ish, whatever is that light. I was looking to get a screenshot of that moment. Because if you split here 
and you get that screenshot, you have less to work, less work to do. I'm just gonna go add my screen. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, to split a video, you hit square to go to tools, you go to tools, you go to split clip, and then from there, you're just gonna hit X on wherever you're gonna split. As you see, the splits are right there. That's all it's, that's all it's gonna do to your video. If that's out the way, we're gonna hit X to add the screenshot now. Hit X, add screenshot, it should be in your most recent. I have two of them here, but this is the one I want. And we're just gonna add that. And it's gonna be perfect for the video that I want to actually do. So now that we got the screenshot here, now here comes the play around. What you want to do for this freeze frame, like we're pretty much already at the easy part, but also the most complicated, depending on how you got your screenshot. You're just going to hit left and right on the D-pad. We're gonna to skip to the next screen. And look, it matches up perfectly. That actually matches up perfectly. So let's play this real quick and look at that. That actually matches up very perfectly. We don't have to do anything to that at all. You just, and you're just gonna go on this side and do the same thing. But this time you're gonna hit square since this one is not gonna have, well actually let's take a look and see if that fits in. Cause if it's a frame, whoa. That worked out perfectly. Cause if you have this a frame before or a frame after, cause say like we took this. We're gonna hit square, we're going to go into the tools and this is what you would have to do if you didn't get things perfectly. Hit square to open your tools menu, you go to trim clip and you would have to hit L1, L2 or R1, R2 depending on, well, depending on which part of the clip you're trying to edit. In this case, I'm on the right side of the clip and I'm trying to edit. You would have to keep hitting that to try and get that exactly to the frame that you need to be. Now, I said it doesn't really seem like it really affects much, but it's probably going to be a personal preference at this point. As far as just how the split goes, it really is up to you. If you want to hit square to open up and go to the trim, if you want to have your trim, your video trimmed, well, wrong button. If you want it to be, as long as it's a step right on exactly the frame or right before, the freeze frame will work. Obviously you don't want to do it afterwards. There's going to be some weird jerk back that some people will notice. But if you do it a step before, it's so minimal, nobody really noticed, and it actually works fine. But I'm going with having it right on exactly where the freeze frame is at. And you hit square, go with trim clip here, and do the same on this end. I said if you took if you was the type of person that just took a screenshot at random, then you would have had to find where to put the split, and then you would have to then trim the video you can pull the video and trim it exactly to that point but then you're trying to pay a lot of attention to where you actually got the thing and that's pretty much all we got then we can do stuff like this we're going to do a quick skip here and i'm going to add some audio here and we'll show some of the fun effects that people do with those freeze frames And there you go. That is how to do a, what is it called? A freeze frame. I'm probably gonna go mess around with the audio clip myself a bit more after this, but that's pretty much all there is to it. I said, there is so much you can do with the share factory. You just have to think outside the box. Anyways, hope I helped somebody out there. Hopefully it was interesting. And if you actually liked it, and I don't usually say this, please leave a like so I know I'm actually being helpful. I don't care for the rest of that saying goes so just appreciate the like comment let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys later